Hey everybody, what's up? This is your host Afzal and you're watching channel Code X. Today we're gonna talk about Interactive Viewer. Yes, Interactive Viewer is recently added in Flutter 1.20 which is announced on 5th of August 2020. Like when I'm creating this video just 2-3 days back. So before we begin with today's video, let me show you what we are going to create by end of this tutorial. Here you can see a eShop gallery. Basically, it's an online shopping application and you can zoom on any product like this and this is done with the help of interactive viewer you don't need to implement your own custom gestures and handle all those custom events this is all handled inside interactive viewer enough of talking we're gonna start the tutorial right after this brand new intro before we start with actual coding let me show you what we have in flutter 1.20 Flutter says that there's a big performance improvement, there's a mobile autofill which is a great feature like from your Android and iOS operating system you will get the data which is predefined. Say for example your email ID, your phone number that will be autofilled just like credit card information get autofill and there's a new widget which is interactive viewer and that's not it. In Flutter 1.20 you will see a whole new update in Rain slider, time picker, date picker, there's a date range selector and all those are stuff, cool stuff. But today in this tutorial, we're gonna focus on interactive viewer. So without wasting much time, let's begin with Visual Studio Code. So here we are inside my application from which I'm calling gallery page. And if you see the implementation is fairly basic implementation. There's a two text box going over here for title and description. There's an expanded image which fills the space in your application like inside your page and there's a container wrapped to the list view and basically this list view is to swipe through the catalog items and that's all we need to design something like this fairly simple right now if you are thinking about how i have written this list view builder image asset what are expanded you can check other tutorials where i have explained in detail but for this tutorial i am thinking like we are doing an intermediate tutorial so let's not waste time in discussing about this basic stuff all right so we are going to move ahead so now what we want in this application that user should be able to zoom like this pinch zoom or pan through the image so that he can see the user can see the more detail on product all right how we can do that previously we used to use transformation matrix and all those stuff but now it's fairly simple you just have to wrap this image by clicking command and dot and say wrap with the widget and just say interactive interactive viewer and voila you are done that's all you need to do now when you pinch on your image you get something like this it's that simple so before you leave the video let me tell you there's a more to it we can customize this interactive viewer as we want and let me show you some examples real-time example for this application so what is happening that user is able to zoom up to this level and after that it doesn't zoom and that is where our properties come so let me show you different properties we have inside interactive viewer I'll put link in the description for this documentation you can read it so there's something called min scale and max scale with the help of that you can define how much user can zoom in or out so let's just apply this property over interactive viewer so i'm going to say max scale to 5.0 it's a double property you can specify any double number and now when i go to my simulator and try to zoom i can zoom all the way to five times of the image and i can zoom out to original size cool isn't it so now let's talk about one of the other property which is very important for interactive viewer and that is controller so it uses transformation controller and basically what happens whenever you're doing pan gesture zoom gesture or any kind of gesture with your interactive viewer your controller will be listening to it continuously now what we're gonna do with the controller let me tell you the scenario so if I zoom this image up to this level and I'm switching to another image you see that this image is also zoomed at that level but I don't want that basically what should happen whenever you're switching between elements your other image should be zoomed to the original scale and there comes a controller in picture what we can do define a controller to interactive wear and whenever there's a switch between images we can reset the controller let me show you how real quick 
So we have already defined a controller. You just have to write a definition for it and use this controller inside interactive view. I'm going to say transformation controller is this controller. And now when we switch image, say for example, this is the one which is zoomed. And when we switch it, that time what we have to do on click of the image, we have to reset the value of our controller. So what I'm going to do is controller dot value is equal to matrix four dot identity. So matrix four identity matrix we are using and what will it will do basically it will revert back to the original state. So now let me save it and zoom a bit and switch a image and it's reset to its original position. So that is how interactive viewer works. I know that already 20 to 30 percent viewer have left. Thank you so much for staying in the video. I have an announcement to make. I'm going to complete 5000 subscribers in like couple of days. I have already reached 4800 subscribers. So just it will take one or two days. So for that I'm going to do a Q&A session. There will be Q&A video once I complete 5000 subscribers. So you can write down your question in the comment section below. Whatever you want to know about my channel, about myself, where do I work, what do I do, how do I create this video, where do I learn Flutter, all of those stuff I'm going to answer to you. So that is there. Thank you so much for staying tuned and now I'm going to show you another example of interactive viewer. It's a bonus for you guys because you stayed longer in this video. Another example is for WhatsApp status or any other status you see in your application. If you notice the behavior, whenever you pinch or zoom your uh, image on WhatsApp status and once you leave your finger, it automatically shrinks to its original position. If you haven't noticed that, stop the video, go to your WhatsApp application and check the status. Once you remove your finger, it will automatically shrink to original position. And how we can do that inside Interactive Viewer, it's fairly simple. Let me show you with example. So I'm going to switch from gallery page to status page which I created earlier and that is even simpler page over here. It just have one image wrapped inside interactive viewer and there again I'm using a transformation controller. So this is my image. I can zoom in, zoom out and this image by the way is while I was making this video. So this is behind the scene for you guys. And you can zoom in and zoom out fairly fine. It's same as previous. But what new we are going to do is once you leave your finger, it should snap back to the original position. And how we can do that, we have to use on interaction int. After that, you just say transformation controller using your controller dot value is equal to matrix. You already know you have to provide identity matrix to your controller value and that will snap it to original size. Let's see that in action. I'm pressing alt key on my simulator and zooming in and when I leave the button it shrinks back to its original position. And that's the beauty of Flutter. You just write few lines of code and you get this nice feature in your application. What else you want? So make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video and don't forget to go to Google Forms which is in the description below and provide your survey or feedback whatever it is. I have listed five questions over there. You just have to answer them in multiple choice question. And yes, I haven't forgotten the clock app series. There's a video coming up mid of the next week. So make sure to subscribe the channel, hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.